We now move to the announcement of the silver medal winners, starting with the Sergeant Award for drawing at part two. The judges agreed that the part two entry with the best architectural drawings was Pontifical Academy of Sciences. The project reinterprets the original Pontifical Academy of Sciences, established in 1603 with Galileo as its chair, from an allegorical viewpoint by relocating it to the city of London and providing a new educational system tackling the square mile's lack of moral purpose. The author explores the playfulness of the theme in highly accomplished drawings where the libraries and lecture spaces of the academy are imagined in a monochrome, reimagined in a monochrome color palette offsetting the red and gold of the papal robes. The project was tutored by Matthew Butcher, Elizabeth Dow and Jonathan Hill at the Bartlett School of Architecture. The author, a winner once again this evening, is Benjamin Ferns. In the silver medal category, the judges awarded two commendations and one high commendation. The first commended project at part two is called Restoring the Workhouse, an alternative conservation strategy. The project proposes a radical conservation strategy for Budley Workhouse in Worcestershire that, rather than preserving its grade two listing as a heritage asset, considers the potential to adapt and accommodate changing needs. By reprioritizing material and flow over form, the scale, character, and configuration of the original workhouse is retained, and new narratives created defining the past and present architectural spaces. The author was tutored by Kate Darby at Cardiff University, and her name is Gemma Wheeler. The second commendation goes to the project Lofferton Seasonal Fishery, submitted by De Montfort University, where it was tutored by Tim Barwell. The project's aim is to rejuvenate the lives of individuals and communities in Norway's Lofton Islands, whose values and cultural identity have been badly affected as a result of the demise of the local fishing industry. The author proposes the creation of facilities for lo local fishermen to catch, process, and sell their own products, whose design references Lofton's vernacular architecture and reappropriates the community's cultural heritage. The winner of the commendation is Alastair Wood. silver medal category, the judges also awarded a high commendation, and this was to the project Chlorophyllous Urbanism, Mumbai. This ambitious project sets out to create a new strategy for architectural intervention in the Indian city of Mumbai after careful analysis of six sites alongside Mumbai's Thane Creek coastline. The proposal suggests a delicate redress of the consequences of colonialism by exploring ecological, social, and political approaches as part of an imagined urban plan. Tutored by Dorian Wisniewski at the Edinburgh School of Architecture and Landscape Architecture, the project was submitted as a joint nomination by Marshall English and Marcus Rothney. Sadly, Marshall was not able to attend tonight's ceremony, but we are delighted to welcome Marcus to the stage to receive the award on behalf of the two. <laughs> 
So, finally, this year's RIBA silver medal for best design project at RIBA part two, or equivalent worldwide. Nominated by the Macintosh School of Architecture and tutored by Robert Mantho, the winning project is entitled The Heteroglossic City, a polemic against critical reconstruction in Berlin. The project investigates the historical background of Berlin's highly controlled planning system before setting out a new strategy for architectural intervention. This is illustrated through the Bauer Forum, a platform that explores a more dialogue-focused approach to planning context and embodies a new strategic attitude to urban development in Berlin. Featuring public facilities, including a gallery, library, and free studio spaces intended to house autonomous urban development initiatives, the Bauer Forum also includes areas to enable debates, presentations, and exhibitions. The result is a proposal for an effective, adaptive metropolis of open source urbanism, driven by participation and democracy rather than economics and bureaucracy. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in congratulating and welcoming to the stage the winner of the 2015 RIBA Silver Medal, Finn Wilkie. Um, well, this is great and uh, very unexpected. Um, first of all, I'd like to thank the Reba and the judges for recognising my work. Um, also, the Macintosh School of Architecture, and in particular, my tutor, Robert Mantho, um, uh, Scott Hayworth and Sergei Kolosov for their assistance during the project. Uh, and finally, and mostly, my family, my grand and granddad, my dad, my mum, Mary, my wee sister, Sarah, and my girlfriend, Victoria. Thank you. My congratulations to all of our winners, aren't they fantastic? I'm absolutely bowled over. This was, without doubt, a great night celebrating outstanding talent across the spectrum of architectural education. I'm sure you'll agree that the future of architecture is assured in the hands of such extremely talented young men and women. Well, now I hope that you continue to enjoy tonight's celebration by joining us upstairs for drinks in the Florence Hall on the first floor. And don't forget to visit the exhibition and do help yourselves to a complimentary copy of an exclusive supplement featuring this year's winners produced in association with the RIBA Journal. Thank you very much for coming, all of you, and I hope you enjoy the rest of your evening. Thank you. Thank you.